We're going to be implementing PubNub Access Manager. I'm going to show you how to do it on the command line, how to enable it in your account. And let's get started. First, go to your account, log in, and then you'll have access to what you see here on my screen. And on my screen, I have the name of my app, uh, the name of my key, and how much money I'm paying for the key, and then three specific API keys, very important to PubNub, publish key, subscribe key, and the super secret key. The secret key is critical when it comes to Access Manager. You need to enable Access Manager first, so I just scroll down here to my Access Manager configuration, click the Add button, boop, all right, I just added it there, and there's a, there's a big warning. It's sometimes it's in red, sometimes it's blue, but this is a very important warning. Once you enable Access Manager, worldwide, all access to this key will be disabled. And you need to then, at that point, grant access to all of your connected clients and give them an auth key. So here we go. I just enabled Access Manager. Now I need to grant permissions before I'm able to send or receive data. Now that I've enabled Access Manager, uh, we need to walk through how you grant access and pass an auth key to the client as well as how to use that auth key and send and receive data over PubNub. So first, try the new debug console. Now you've got a default channel that is specifying a UUID and the auth key. But I haven't granted access with any auth key, so there's an undefined auth key. So I need to do that first. So let's see here. I can click this Access Manager button, this little lock icon here. I'm under the Grant section. Now. You've got two parameters that you can type in a string. That's the channel name and the auth key. And the auth key is anything you want. It could be ABC or it could be a very long unpredictable string, such as your session ID. Now that's what it should be. But for simplicity, we're going to make it something like cheese. So we're going to be creating a cheese channel and a cheese auth key. I'm going to give it read and write permissions. And I'm going to give it, mm, let's say, 60, one hour, one hour worth of TTL. I'm going to grant the access. Key cheese has been provisioned. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. I like that little notification. And now I can use my access keys, my auth key, and pub key and sub key to read and write on the cheese channel. So I'm going to go back to, uh, let's see here connectivity. I'm going to create a new client, cheese channel, and any UUID. It's just some sort of client ID uh, that's used in present, covered in a previous episode. And then I pass my cheese auth key. I'm going to add a client, and I am subscribed with my cheese. It's worked. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's very satisfying. I've granted myself access to the cheese channel using cheese auth key. I can also publish data using the cheese auth key, and I can send message. And as you can see, it successfully sent, and I received my own message. We walk through Access Manager using the debug console, granting access on the cheese channel using the cheese auth token. We're going to do this in code now, essentially what you do on your server through your business rules. When you initialize PubMove on the server, you'll have three API keys, the publish key, subscribe key, and the all secret secret key. This key is super secret. Make sure it only ever exists on your server in a secure, trusted code execution environment. What I have here on my screen is the initialization of the code that you would add to your server. And it has my publish key, subscribe key, and my secret key. As soon as I run this, I will now have an, an instance of PubNub that is able to grant and revoke access to auth tokens and auth keys. Now, I'm going to execute a grant line here on my console using the cheese channel, the cheese auth key, read true, write true, a TTL of 60 seconds. I'm going to pass a callback to this grant method that will log the result of the callback. Now I'm going to run this, and voila, success. The result that comes back is an object, and it tells me, as you can see here on my command line, what channel 
that it was a level of the user, so it's individual user specific, and any other details. So we can tell that there's read access and write access. So we're concluding this, this course with PubNub Access Manager. We covered authorization and authentication. We covered how Access Manager allows you to control the permissions for read and write access on data channels. We also talked about initializing a server-side SDK with the secret key that allows you to create permissions via grant method in the SDK. And as you pass the auth token to the client, the client is then able to connect to PubNub on data streams to read and write access. Thank you for watching, and yeah.